good afternoon it's Amina and Elias is driving so we're not going to bother him right now anyways <laughs> we came back from Hawassa a couple days I didn't really film anything we didn't really do anything I did get a pedicure at Henny Henny nail salon something like that um, and Penita, yeah. I got a manicure and a pedicure. It was amazing. Very good massage and everything. Here's Elias, the guy's just driving in the craziest streets of Addis. This is his sister's car, Ethiopia. And she's very nice to let us take it. Enjoy. And enjoy our time. Right now we're going to the lion statue, the famous lion statue in Addis Ababa. It's raining, but that's okay. That's not gonna stop us, you know. It rains almost every day here. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? You still gotta enjoy. See you guys soon. Peace. Peace. Here we go. Got it. So we are in Piazza around Shola and we are drinking some freshly squeezed juice. I have a strawberry and Elias has mango with vimto. Mm -hmm. Yes. So one of the things, if you guys come to Addis Ababa, I guess at the end of like my trip, I'll recommend places like to go. But one of the things for sure is to try freshly squeezed juice it's so delicious here it's better than like the juices i've tried in the u.s i feel like you can find a place that does like this freshly squeezed juice a lot here it's not hard to find they make them organic i mean it's organic fruit but they make them from scratch here so yeah yep we got the vip treatment that's why we're sitting in the car <laughs> this is vip parking <laughs> That's what the guy said. Yeah, <laughs> That's what the guy said. That's so fun. <laughs> in Ethiopia in Ethiopia guys I didn't know this so Addis Ababa is actually the third biggest diplomatic diplomatic city in the world so that's why you find so many different people here I was surprised number one there's a lot of Europeans here a lot a lot of Europeans and they're like they understand Amharic and stuff and uh, then I saw the embassy of Mexico and I'm like what the heck why do you have a mexican embassy and they told me that it's actually the third largest diplomatic city in the world which is so cool when you walk in the streets when you see like different people <laughs> like europeans i say europeans because they stand out nobody stares at them nobody looks at them weird it's just normal it, even in uh hawassa remember in hawassa yeah they were like riding the bikes they were driving <laughs> It's just normal, yeah. Here guys, this is what I'm looking at. Here goes the Ethiopian road signs, whatever. <laughs> road signs, beautiful mountains everywhere. Mountains everywhere. Mountains everywhere. Bole. We're in this Bole is right now. Meganaya. Oh, this is Meganaya. Meganaya. Meganaya, Meganaya, Meganaya. How did you know? <laughs> I heard them say that. Are you kidding me? Yeah, the transportation. Wow, that's good. <laughs> if you ever want to go to a hypermarket, oh dang, I don't know if I got the sign or not. <laughs> it's right there on the side of Century Mall. Shua Hypermarket. It's really big. It's basically a supermarket, but since it's so big, they call it a hypermarket here. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny for you. It's kind of funny. That is hyper for us. Yeah, it's it's kind of. Where's the screen? Here we go. It's kind of funny for me because hypermarket hypermarket 
<laughs> we don't even have that like in the US. That, there is no hyper. There is no hyper. There's just basically supermarkets. It's like the size of like a Walgreens maybe? Maybe, yeah. Right? Well, like Walgreens or CVS. Like that. Yeah. I forgot to mention one thing. You guys, Elias, he, he got his driver's license in the United States. Elias never learned how to drive in <laughs> Ethiopia. That's why I'm acting all weird <laughs> about him driving. Because he never drove here. Yes. So he's just like me. If I tried to drive here, yeah, it's so high. Never, I would never but right drive. Right now, I'm good right now. Yeah, you're good. Still in the car. <laughs> This whole vlog is going to be in the car. The sun is setting right now. You know, one thing about Addis Ababa is that there's a lot of new buildings. Literally, this everything that I'm looking at right now are all new buildings. Like houses, businesses, apartment buildings, everything. So hopefully one day we can buy a house here in Addis Ababa. It's so the expensive. price is not increasing. Right? I don't I really don't understand why the housing is so expensive here. The houses are more expensive than even US houses, which doesn't make sense. But uh, one of the funny things that Elias's brother told me, so normally when prices go up, the demand decreases and when the price goes down, the demand increases. In Ethiopia, it's the, the opposite. Up, yeah, it's the opposite. <laughs> the price is going up, the demand is increased. Yeah. The price is going down, mm -hmm. the demand is increased. <laughs> yeah, what? I guess when the price goes down here, people think like there's something wrong with it or it's bad. <laughs> like that, so yeah. the demand decreases <laughs> and when the price is high, people think it's good. So it... it <laughs> There it is, right there. Here's Elias's brother's store. That's some haddock. Okay. Let's see. Fashion. fashion. <laughs> Let's get inside. Let's go. Let's see fashion. Let's see fashion. Let's see fashion. Yeah. So let's go inside Pitsy Fashion right now. This is basically a fashion store for men owned by the brother of Elias, aka Fitzy, Fitzy Fashion. <laughs> Let me show you guys. <laughs> yeah. Somebody yeah. call it's basically men's You just started? Yes. Yeah. T-shirts, jeans, tennis shoes, button-down shirts. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is cleaning. Here's the owner of the store. He's the owner of the store. Mm -hmm. You guys are in this area. Then so come awesome. here. And buy. Buy some stuff. Men's clothing. Fitzy fashion. Yes. 